We heard the uh, results of the long-term follow-up of the Pioneer trial at the ACC late-breaking sessions. As you may remember, Pioneer heart failure trial was um, envisioned to address the safety and efficacy of secubitril valsartan compared against enalapril in the acute heart failure setting. They wanted to find out in the original trial, which was published last year, uh, to determine whether secubitril valsartan uh, compared against enalapril when initiated in hemodynamically stable, acutely decompensated heart failure patients, would confer benefit in reduction in anti-proBNP levels. As you may recall, there was significant reduction in anti-proBNP levels at eight weeks, starting as early as one week. Um, the reductions in the secubitral valsartan arm compared to baseline at eight weeks was in the order of about 46%. In the enalapril arm was somewhere around 25%. The long-term follow-up continued in an open-label fashion of continuation of secubitral valsartan in those ones who were assigned to secubitral valsartan, and the, in the enalapril arm, switch over to secubitral valsartan for four more weeks, for a total of 12 weeks. And again, uh, examining the primary endpoint of anti-proBNP reduction, and demonstrated that in the secubitral valsartan arm, there was further reduction by about 18% percent uh, further reduction in anti-proBNP anti levels at 12 weeks and in the enalapril arm almost 36 percent further reduction compared to eight weeks at the uh, completion of the 12 weeks. What that means is compared to baseline by about 12 weeks treatment with secubitral valsartan has the potential to reduce the anti-proBNP levels by about 60 percent. In addition to this primary endpoint there were safety endpoints such as rise in creatinine level or worsening renal function, which was measured as creatinine rise by more than 0.5 milligram per deciliter or EGFR declined by more than 25% or symptomatic hypotension or angioedema uh, or hyperkalemia, none of which were different in the secubitral valsartan versus enalapril group, neither in the original trial or the open label long-term follow-up trial. So overall, the secubitral valsartan therapy was safe. The challenges in the trial were uh, the switch over of the secubitral valsartan required a 36 hour washout period, which resulted in a slight prolongation in the length of stay. Um, at the end of the, uh, the trial, the average length of stay was about 5.2 days, which uh, in administrative domain where the length of stay is monitored could be a challenge. Uh, in terms of the tolerability, about 20% of either the secubitral valsartan or enalapril group had discontinued the medication at the end of eight weeks. In the open label, we had another 12% who were no longer taking the medication at 12 weeks. So in terms of the concept of why were those patients no longer taking the medication will need to be further examined. But the symptomatic hypotension rates, neither the worsening renal failure and or hyperkalemia or angioedema rates were different. Thus, it's going to be very interesting to determine as to why those individuals were no longer taking the medication. So that's another potential limitation. Interesting findings that I think will be very exciting for all of us to follow. The um, reduction in TPROBMP levels were seen as early as one week. So the mechanism of action is very intriguing as to how secubitral valsartan is resulting in such a significant reduction in the filling pressures. And uh, as such, the other biomarkers that were obtained as part of the trial, such as um, high sensitivity troponin and or other biomarkers will be very interesting to find out. Whether the mechanism will be vasodilatory or other cardioprotective effects will need to be seen. But the rapidity by which we're seeing the anti pro -BMP results uh, give us the impression that it may be a vasodilatory effect. Secondary endpoints, which was more robustly seen in this clinical trial, which is a combination endpoint of cardiovascular death and hospi cardiovascular hospitalizations, along with requirement for transplant and WAD, VAD, were also significantly reduced with secubitral valsartan compared to enalapril arm. So overall, it was a safe and effective therapy for patients with acute decompensated heart failure, as long as they're hemodynamically stable, defined as um, blood pressure over 100 for more than six hours, not requiring vasoactive medications.